a very good morning and jai hind children i hope you all are preparing well for your half yearly exams so children yesterday we have started the revision of chapter synthetic fibers and plastics i hope you have revised it at your home and you have gone through the exercise of this chapter children i have also sent you the worksheet to understand and to clear your concept so i hope you have gone through that worksheet also so children again i am telling you if you are having any kind of doubt in any question please do ask in the group okay if you have any doubt in the question ki mai mesa kyu hua please do ask in the group okay so as i have told you in the previous class that is yesterday this chapter is divided into two parts that is synthetic fibers and plastics and yesterday we have discussed about the synthetic fibers and now today we will discuss about the plastics okay so in synthetic fiber we have studied that synthetic fibers are those fibers that are made from chemicals basically and in chemicals we basically use petroleum okay so in this um by this synthetic fibers are made and synthetic fibers are of different types they are the examples of synthetic fibers are rayon nylon polyester all right so these are the few examples of synthetic fibers and also acrylic okay so we have also seen that all these synthetic fibers are basically made up of a simplest and a smallest unit that is called monomer okay so what is monomer monomer is basically the smallest unit from which any type of synthetic fiber or any fiber is made okay why we are telling that the synthetic fibers are made from a polymer or a monomer because they are artificial fibers they are human made fibers and for this we require different chemicals and different substances and we require them to bind it okay so basically the synthetic fibers are all made up of a smallest monomeric unit and when these similar kinds of monomeric units combine together they form polymer okay so i have told you that poly means many and mer is the unit so when many units combine together it forms a polymer okay basically all synthetic fibers are polymer every synthetic fiber be it rayon be it nylon be it even uh, today if we are talking about plastic so plastics are also a polymer okay they are also made from a very small unit called monomers okay so all the synthetic fiber and plastic both are a polymeric unit and they are made from a small monomers and we have also seen that these monomers and polymers like pol the structure of polymer is divided into two parts yes the it can be in a linear shape or it can be a cross linked shape okay now we will see when we will study about plastic so why what is the advantage of a linear polymer and a cross linked polymer this we will see here in this uh, topic that is plastics okay so i hope the properties and uses and the importance of synthetic fiber is clear to you i have given you the table if you have gone through the school app aap agar school app mein gaye hoge and you have seen the e content there so you also have the notes of synthetic fiber there so from there you can have the table of differences between rayon nylon acrylic and polyester and from there you can study it okay so children in the uh, previous class that was yesterday we have talked about the synthetic fiber but we have not read it in the chapter so first uh, the nylon and rayon we have done so first we will study the acrylic and polyester and then we will move to the plastics okay so let's start with the chapter so children please open your book open this chapter synthetic fibers and plastics we will revise this chapter again okay so we have talked about this uh, so we have seen this synthetic fibers and uh, 
the basic introduction of the synthetic fiber we have talked about polymers we have talked about monomer unit we have seen the synthetic fibers rayon uses of rayon nylon this we have studied okay uh, we are left with this polyester so children as the name says polyester yes poly means many and ester is a group or a chemical okay so polyester when many esters combine together it form polyester when many ester group combine together it forms a polyester basically polyesters are not used in its original form they are mixed together either with cotton or wool okay so they are often mixed with the natural fibers to make clothes with cotton they makes polycot with wool they make poly wool okay agar polyester cotton ke sath mix ho raha hai to usko hum polycot kahenge agar ye wool ke sath mix ho raha hai to isko hum poly wool kahenge so basically in market whenever we are seeing the mixture of uh, when we are uh, going to the market and we see the cotton clothes so that is not a pure cotton it is mixed with a polyester so it is called a poly cot okay or poly wool okay so few examples of polyesters are tyrrhene tyrrhene and dectron these are the examples of polyester children here the uses of polyester is very 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 important so you should learn the uses of polyester so basically polyesters are used in making a cloth such as trousers shirts suits and some home furnishing like curtains bed sheets and sofa cover all these things are made from a polyester material it is not pure cotton or a pure wool okay it is used either by itself or as a blend blend means mix with okay its water resistant property makes it ideal for the gar uh, garments and jackets that are to be used in wet or a damp environment basically in rainy season the cloth that we wear it is mixed with a polyester jitne bhi pani mein jitne bhi kapdon mein hamare pani nahi absorb hota hai aur pani uh, gets uh, the water gets swiped off so those materials are basically made up of polyesters okay jackets quilted garments are also made up of polyester pet this is important pet is form of a polyester okay and this is used to make bottles films utensils wires so all these are made from a polyester so uses of polyester is very important you can see here in the diagram children so this stockings are made up of nylon this brush is nothing but a nylon okay this bag is made up of polyester these pants are made up of polyester coat is made up of a polyester okay so these materials these garments are made from polyesters and polyesters are generally mixed used in a mixed form either with cotton or with the wool okay now children tell me the substitute of wool these days are it is acrylic so nowadays pure wool is not used rather we use a acrylic material acrylic is the substitute of wool okay so acrylic is a type of a synthetic fiber that resembles the wool okay it is light weighted soft and warm and with a wool like feel theek hai to generally jo hum sweaters dekhte hain jo ki market mein available hain and they doesn't look like wool usme mote mote oon nahi hote hain there is no yarn of the wool but they are sweater material they are woolen material it is basically acrylic okay so children now this is very important here we is that is the characteristic of synthetic fibers so please do underline these lines that they are strong crease resistant 
elastic, moth proof, easy to wash, last for a long time. Okay, so it is a strong, it is crease resistant. Crease resistant means that it doesn't get wrinkles, it doesn't get crease. It is elastic and it can be washed easily. They do not absorb water or sweat except for rayon. Rayon can absorb sweat. But other synthetic fibers does not absorb sweat. Okay. And hence it is not at times more comfortable to wear. Okay. So uh, in humid and uh, hot and humid weather, synthetic clothes stick to the body and are therefore uncomfortable to wear. Getting it? So children, uh, I gave you the homework to learn the exercise and to complete the worksheet. And today, uh, as you know, that uh, we are having a Zoom interactive class today. So uh, we will be discussing about this chapter only, that is synthetic fiber and plastics. So first, I'm going to discuss the worksheet one that I have gave you yesterday. And along with that, few additional questions I'll ask from you regarding the plastic so i'm not giving you the worksheet of plastic again so in the zoom interactive class later today we will discuss about the plastics and we'll discuss about the worksheet and the few questions about plastics okay so children i hope you all are ready with the revision of this chapter so please uh, do uh, like learn all the exercises that is very 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 important i have also told you how you will learn it so when you are reading the chapter please try to frame the questions okay jab bhi aap questions banayenge to aapko khud samajh mein aayega ki kaise questions aa sakte hain aur uh, in which way the questions from a particular topic can come okay so please do study like that because questions can come from anywhere from the chapter so from within the chapter, from anywhere from the chapter, it is not purely from your exercise. Okay. So you have to study the complete chapter. Clear? So now moving ahead. So we are done with this topic, synthetic fiber. If you have any doubt, please do ask. If not, now we are moving towards the last topic of this chapter, that is plastics. So children, what is basically plastic? So first I have told you that plastics are also a polymer. Plastics kya hai? Polymer hai. Take for example, a very common example of plastics is polythene. Okay, polythene. So poly again here is many and theme is ethene. Okay, so polythene. Polythene is also a polymer of ethene. So when these ethene group, that is CH2 group, is combined together, it forms a polythene. So again, I'm telling you that plastic is also a polymer. Okay. We know that plastics can be heated, it can be melted, and it can be molded into other forms. Okay. We can heat the plastic whenever we are heating the plastic it will get melt and it can be molded into other shapes okay so plastic is basically that material when it is heated it can be molded into a different shape it is called plastics now depending on it this property of the plastic it is divided into two types the plastics have a two classification so first is thermo plastics and second is thermo setting plastics okay so now this is very 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 important so we will discuss what is thermo plastic and what is thermo setting plastic of this chapter okay so please open this topic plastics yes so plastic a material is said to be plastic if it can be molded or formed into different shape. Agar hum isko mold mold matlab ki shape change kar sakte hain. Ya hum usko kisi garam karke usko naye form mein change karenge. That is the property of plastic and that is plastic basically. Okay. They are, this is important line children. They are made up of polymers. These plastics are made up of polymers or they are basically polymer 
द मेन सोर्स ऑफ दीज प्लास्टिक्स आर क्रूड ऑयल चिल्ड्रेन द लाइन दैट आई एम हाईलाइटिंग प्लीज अंडरलाइन इन योर बुक दीज लाइन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कैन बी फ्रेम्ड फ्रॉम दीज लाइन्स so please when uh, while you were while you are revising the chapter please focus more on these lines so please underline this line the main source of these plastics is crude oil so i hope everybody knows what is crude oil now plastics can be classified into two groups what are the two groups depending and depending on their reaction of heat reaction of heat ka matlab कि जब भी हम प्लास्टिक को गर्म कर रहे हैं तो उसका क्या प्रॉपर्टीज दिख रही है मुझे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी आर लाइक हीटिंग एनी प्लास्टिक मटेरियल तो क्या वो मेल्ट हो रहा है क्या वो मेल्ट नहीं हो रहा है कैन वी रीशेप इट और आफ्टर कूलिंग कैन इट बिकम हार्ड एन और वी कैन अगेन गिव इट अ न्यू शेप सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दीज प्लास्टिक्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू ग्रुप्स so what are that two groups first is thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic children ye hamesha yaad rakhiyega whenever there is a term called thermo or a therm in science it is directly related with heat okay thermo is directly related with heat even you can write here with a pencil thermo put a dash and write heat thermo is always related with heat so thermoplastic again we are here talking about the reaction to heat and thermosetting plastic again we are talking about the reaction to heat so let's see what is thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic this is very important children thermoplastic so what is thermoplastic thermoplastic wo material hota hai jisko whenever we are heating it so that will get melted first thing and second after it is cooled jab wo thanda ho jayega so then it can get solidified okay so that is called thermoplastic aur thermoplastic ko hum bar bar garam kar sakte hain bar bar usko naye shape mein convert kar sakte hain and when we are cooling it down it will again get hard okay so this is thermoplastic can you think of any example of a thermoplastic anything take a normal polythene aapne polythene garam kiya we can change it into a different shape even if you uh, remember at times we just take a plastic and we uh, put it in the for front of a flame तो क्या होता है वो चिपक जाता है इट गेट स्टिक टूगेदर सो दे आर ऑल्सो दे आर गेटिंग मेल्टेड एंड चेंजिंग इट्स फॉर्म ओके इवन वी आर वेन वी आर मेल्टिंग द पॉलिथीन और एनी प्लास्टिक बॉटल देन ऑल्सो इट विल गेट मेल्टेड एंड इट कैन चेंज द फॉर्म चिल्ड्रेन यू कैन डू एन एक्सपेरिमेंट एट होम टेक अ प्लास्टिक बॉटल और एक बहुत ज्यादा पानी गर्म कर लो बॉयल द वॉटर एंड पुट दैट बॉइल्ड वॉटर इन अ प्लास्टिक बॉटल क्या होगा द प्लास्टिक बॉटल विल मेल्ट एंड इट विल चेंज इट शेप ओके सो सच टाइप ऑफ प्लास्टिक इज कॉल्ड थर्मो प्लास्टिक ओके सो लेट सी वॉट इज रिटर्न थर्मो प्लास्टिक द प्रोसेस ऑफ सॉफ्टनिंग बाई हीटिंग and hardening on cooling can be repeated again and again to soften the plastic to get different shapes okay however thermosetic thermosetic just is ko opposite hota hai aap no you don't have to take anything just take a uh, normal bisleri bottle theek hai aap jab bhi normal pani ki bottle lete hain to you have a cap a cap hota hai and there is a plastic bottle okay so both are plastic the cap of that bottle is also plastic and the bottle that transparent bottle is also plastic yes but the texture of both these plastics are different jo cap hota hai bottle ka wo thoda hard hota hai as compared to the bottle bottle soft hoti hai it can be squeezed but the cap of the bottle cannot be squeezed it is hard 
गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो है दोनों प्लास्टिक बट दोनों की प्रॉपर्टी अलग अलग है सो दैट ट्रांसपेरेंट बॉटल वी कैन मेल्ट इट एंड वी कैन रीशेप इट अगेन एंड अगेन बट इफ वी टेक अ कैप ऑफ द बॉटल वी के नॉट मेल्ट इट वी के नॉट बेंट इट अगेन एंड अगेन एंड लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव अ नॉन स्टिक पैन एट यू होम येस so the non stick pan or the handle of that non stick pan that is also a plastic but it is very 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 hard that we cannot we cannot when we are, whenever we are burning it it will not get melted so that is thermostatic plastic jisko hum garam kare aur wo shape na change kare ya melt na ho that is called thermostatic plastic take a handle of anything take a handle of uh, a stove or take a handle of uh, ab koi bhi utensil dekh raha hai agar usme handle hai to that is made up of a thermostatic plastic material that is basically bakelite okay so that material on heating it does not melt okay such type of material is called thermostatic plastic now you will say that ma'am it if it cannot be uh, molded or if it cannot uh, be melted to uska shape kaise diya gaya ye ek sirf aur sirf jab hum usko construct kar rahe hain tab sirf ek bar hum usko shape de sakte hain bar bar hum uska shape change nahi kar sakte such is the property of thermostatic plastic okay so thermostatic plastic can be softened by heating only once once they are put into a mold and allowed to harden on cooling it can not be again heated and it can not be again changed into the different shape examples are bakelite and melamine children so you must have seen uh, the microwave most of you must be having a microwave at your home so for microwave uh, there are different types of utensils आप जो घर में खाना बनाते हैं जिस स्टील के बर्तन में स्टेनलेस स्टील में या स्टील के किसी भी यूटेंसिल में जब आप खाना बनाते हैं यू कैन नॉट पुट दैट सेम यूटेंसिल इन द माइक्रोवेव फॉर हीटिंग द फूड व्हाई बिकॉज व्हेन इट विल गेट हीटेड इट विल चेंज इट शेप और इट विल मेल्ट और समथिंग लाइक दैट और रिएक्शन विल टेक प्लेस विच इज अ गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विल गेट अ फायर देयर सो वहां पे हम वी यूज अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अ मटेरियल दैट इज दैट इज रेजिस्टेंट टू द हीट एंड बेसिकली इट इज मेड अप ऑफ मेलामाइन ओके इट इज मेड अप ऑफ मेलामाइन सो बेसिकली द माइक्रोवेव यूटेंसिल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ मेलामाइन सो दैट व्हेन वी आर पुटिंग इट इन द माइक्रोवेव इट डज नॉट गेट हीटेड एंड बिकॉज इट इज नॉट गेटिंग हीटेड इट इज अ बैड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी or bad conductor of heat similarly bakelite is also a bad conductor of heat okay so let's see so i hope you are clear with thermo thermoplastic and thermostatic plastic thermoplastic ko hum garam karke bar bar uske shape ko change kar kar sakte hain but when we are talking about thermostatic plastic we cannot change the shape or we cannot heat it again and again and melt it and we cannot uh, change its shape again and again it is hard and so uh, why it is hard and why it is soft because of the type of or the structure of polymer okay agar linear chain hai polymer ki so it can easily be melted it can easily be molded but if there is a cross linked structure so it cannot be molded it cannot be heated the bonds cannot be broken okay so that is a thermostatic plastic and earlier we have studied about thermoplastic so children here these two points are very important first is the properties of plastic and here are some common plastics and their uses the table is very 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 important most of the questions um from this topic is uh it it basically comes from this table only so you have to learn it 
children first you should remember that most of the plastics are thermoplastic jitne bhi plastic material hum dekh rahe hain wo basically sare ke sare thermoplastic nature ke hote hain thermostatic plastic bahut kam hote hain jinse hum sirf handles aur ye utensils banate hain theek hai uh to first we will go through the properties of plastics and then we'll uh, see the stable okay so properties of plastics let's see quickly plastics are inexpensive lightweight yet strong okay they can be made thin flexible as well as thick tough transparent or colored soft hard so smooth and rough so because it is so flexible aap isko kisi bhi form mein change kar sakte hain from plastic even we, we can make a toy and on from plastic we can also make a utensils for kitchen we can also make a flooring of plastics or we can also construct some uh, furnitures from the plastics okay so plastic is very flexible it can be converted into any form and that is why and that is the reason why plastic is uh, used so abundantly nowadays okay they are non biodegradable this property is very important for plastic and it is the most negative point of the plastic that it cannot be biodegraded because it cannot be biodegraded it remains in the soil for years and years and hence it is causing a pollution okay so this is the negative point of a plastic so that is it is non biodegradable they are waterproof insoluble in water that is why rain coats water bottles and other things are made from the plastics okay basically children you can see here these switches this food container wire covering all these things are also made up of bakelite and thermostatic plastics okay buckets are made from a thermostatic plastic okay they are poor conductor of heat they are very poor conductor of heat okay they are poor conductor of electricity they have no reaction with water and air so they do not corrode easily so they do not corrode they do not react with any chemical or acids okay so these are the few properties of plastics that is important okay then we have uh, the stable children the stable is very 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 important so polythene polyvinyl chloride that is pvc pvc is basically used in the pipelines and the uh, uh so pvc is used there pvc is a polyvinyl chloride polystyrene perspex these are the these are uh, thermoplastic material they are basically thermoplastic materials teflon bakelite all these things are thermostatic okay the so, uh, bakelite formica melamine all these are thermostatic plastic materials okay and here are some properties given uses given please go through this table this table is very 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 important if you come across any kind of doubt please do ask problems with plastic the main problem with plastic is that it is non biodegradable in nature so it cannot be uh, broken down into smaller pieces with by microorganisms and it cannot be mixed in the soil if you throw a plastic it will remain as it is for years and years and when the animals consume it their neck get choked and they suffer with a like even they die all right so this is the uh, problem with plastic so please go through this topic this is very 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 important um, so children we are again meeting we are again meeting at um, 11 for uh, the zoom interactive class so there i am going to discuss the questions related to the plastics so we'll discuss all the all different types of question that can come in your half yearly exam so there we will discuss all such types of questions okay so i hope uh, you have understood this chapter please read the complete chapter all right so that's all for today thank you and jai hind children